Turkey elections are around the corner and pool fever has started. It has reached religious heads as well. Take a look at what they have to say on the upcoming elections. This was the inauguration of the Durga Trikota and Sevalal Mat in Chikmagluru. Many monks and religious heads took part. It was a religious event, but it seemed apt to send out an appeal to voters in the state. Dr. Shivamurti of Chitradurga's Muruga Mat appeal to voters to cast their vote as well as choose the right candidate during the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Chinavalaya prakriya yalli ee jati mata dharmada ondu thalahadiya mele matadhanagalu agu uda kintalu avu jatiya tita vagi paksha tita vagi avu avu tam tamma niluugalanna niluugalage matadhanam anna maadta kandadu baada sukta anta nana sandarke bayasthu. Udupi's Vishwesh Shatirtha Swamiji said that the elections were a democratic way to choose the government. Well, an appeal has gone out from religious heads for voters to not only exercise their franchise but also make the right choice. Will this have an impact on the polls remains to be seen. Shantina Jain, News 9, Chikmagluru. Welcome back. We're tracking the latest election updates. Another Sandalwood actress has now decided to join politics. Veteran actor Bhavya, who has been seen in many movies with Shankar Nag and Dr. Vishnu Vardhan, has announced that she will join Congress. Bhavya is all set to officially join Congress today. Yet another actor now in the political fray. We have seen several Sandwood stars take uh, the big leap from filmdom to politics. And Bhavya is now the latest to join that elite list. Bhavya is set to join the Congress today. The decision came out yesterday and she said that today will be the day when she formally joins the party. Well, no word on exactly what her role will be in Congress, but of course, considering that she is a newbie in politics, in these elections, her role will probably be a uh, refrain to that of campaigning. But it will be interesting to see if uh, actor Bhavya can, in fact, uh, bring in uh, a lot more votes uh, for the party. She is an actor who was known uh, when, uh, of course, for acting in many movies alongside Shankar Nag and Dr. Vishnu Vardhan. She was at her prime uh, during her young years and uh, now, of course, she continues to remain very active uh, among uh, the film stars. Moving on, Australian authorities have resumed search operations for the missing flight this morning. They have added more aircraft and broadened the area of the remote Indian Ocean search, being searched for any trace of the Malaysian airliner missing for two weeks. Three planes have left this morning on the four-hour trip to the area, about 1,500 miles southwest of Perth. Three other P-3 aircraft, including one from New Zealand, will leave later in the day. They will cover 36,000 square kilometers, about 14,000 square miles. That is roughly 50% larger than the area searched on Friday. Because of the distance to and from the area, the Orions can search for only two hours, but the commercial planes can spend five hours looking. Two merchant ships are already in the area, and the Royal Australian Navy HMAS Success is scheduled to arrive this afternoon. The hunt for flight MH370 has focused, has been focused there since credible uh, satellite images revealed objects that might be wreckage from the Boeing 777, which vanished on March 8th with 239 people on board. Two Chinese aircraft are expected to arrive in Perth as well, and two Japanese aircraft will be arriving on Sunday. A small flotilla of ships coming to Australia from China was still several days away. 
Australia sent one plane to fly over one of the remotest places where the satellite images were taken and another four planes flew toward desolate islands of the Antarctic. Manhunt continues for the missing flight, but two weeks on, there's absolutely no sign. The only ray of hope are those satellite images, and so far, none of the search crew have been able to find any sort of proof in one of the deepest areas, deepest waters of the Earth. In fact, that is uh, the satellite uh, image that has caused uh, quite a ruffle and maybe hoped that this is the first sign of some sort of proof that that is the wreckage of the flight. But uh, as uh, the search crew pointed out, the images are too hazy. There's absolutely no way uh, they can go ahead and find it that easily. The search will take a lot more time considering that this is south of Perth, almost closer to Antarctic rather than anywhere else. And this is the area where the waters are the deepest in the earth in all likelihood with it already being two weeks maybe even the wreckage could have sunk to the bottom of the ocean in which case uh, the search crew will have to look for some sort of sign maybe even a small board of the Boeing 777 and then go ahead and send a fleet underwater to see if the wreckage is possibly there.